Today, we're going to be showing you guys how to get the best possible aim from your controller in X Defier. Now, take a look at the gameplay you're seeing in the background. This is from someone who has recently had a kid and hasn't touched video games in three years. And here I am absolutely destroying lobbies, ladies and gentlemen. Now, if you want to have aim that is so good that people think you're hacking, they end up reporting you and then you end up getting banned. Watch this whole video through and I promise you, we're going to change some things and really fine tune your settings. Okay, so when I started playing Dexify and I felt like something was really off. Now, I don't know what it was, but when I played other FPS games, it felt quite normal. Now, I've been messing around with my settings for quite a long time now, a few days, and I have noticed there's one particular setting which I tuned, and it made this game feel the same as other FPS games. And since then, I've just felt so confident jumping into gunfights. My aim, my recoil control has been so good, and I've even had people get really annoyed with me. But yeah, let's jump into the settings. I'm not going to focus on absolutely everything. I'm going to focus mainly on the controller section here. As for button layout, now, as you can see in the gameplay in the background, I am doing a lot of sliding, sliding around corners, shooting enemies while I'm sliding. And that's because I'm using a brawler preset, which basically switches the melee and the crouch. So you basically crouch with the R3 button. You can slide whilst aiming at the same time. I don't have a scuff controller, although it does look like it. With the gameplay in the background, I'm actually just using a standard PlayStation 5 controller. This layout is what enables me to look like I'm using a scuff and decimating kids, but no, I'm not guys. In terms of aim assist and aim assist strength, I just leave this on the highest strength, which is zero. And I know some people maybe like to put this down to like minus three. They don't like the aim assist taking control of their aim, but I keep this at zero because with this game, I noticed that, you know, it does a good job with following the aim assist. Aim response curve, I have it on reverse S curve, which basically boosts the beginning turn of the joystick and the, the last turn when you hit the edge of the joystick basically boosts the beginning and the end parts of your movement and it's similar to the dynamic movement in cards it feels more comfortable because i'm quite a fast paced player so guys this is the recipe here right so this is what i've been testing out the horizontal and vertical sensitivity now i've watched about 10 settings videos to see if anyone had the same issue with me and everyone well not everyone most people are saying to rock the same horizontal and vertical sensitivity I noticed when I was doing that, it kind of felt like I was using a mouse and I had literally no control in gunfights. My recoil control was horrendous and it just didn't feel like other FPS games. I went on to investigate and jump on other FPS games and I noticed one thing. By default, other FPS games have a lower vertical sensitivity than horizontal sensitivity because your screen has more horizontal real estate than vertical. By actually lowering your vertical sensitivity by 15 or 20 less than what your horizontal sensitivity is, actually gives you a lot more recoil control and also allows you to stabilize your horizontal sensitivity a lot more when it comes to them gunfights. By default, other games have a lower vertical sensitivity. And what I recommend you guys doing is whatever your horizontal sensitivity is, it doesn't have to be 65 like mine is. Let's say the horizontal sensitivity is 50. Lower your vertical sensitivity by anywhere from 15 to 20. So for example, if your horizontal sensitivity is on 50, put it to 35 or 30. And then when you jump into a game, move your stick around, you'll notice straight away that this game feels like other FPS games. You're gonna feel a lot more comfortable. And when it comes to guns like the AK-47, if you guys have used it yet, you'll know that the recoil is absolutely horrendous on the AK-47. You'll be able to control that a lot better by lowering your vertical sensitivity. Honestly, guys, if you give this a try, lower it or even maybe 10. I wouldn't go any less than 10 because you won't really feel the effects of what I'm talking about here. But that, that has been a game changer for me and it's improved my aim massively. As for ADS sensitivity multiplier, this is all personal preference. I have mine really low at 45 times. I know a lot of people are rocking in the 70s, but to be honest, I really do value a lower ADS sensitivity for accuracy, especially from the mid to long ranges. The high zoom, a lot of people have it high because you're zoomed further in. These two are definitely personal preference. In terms of dead zone, I just had my left stick at two because I was getting a slight bit of stick drift on my left stick, but this is all personal choice. One thing I will say is that you don't want to ramp it up higher than it needs to be because then when you move your controller, it's not actually going to have any input at all. So uh, when it comes to, yet again, recoil control and things like that, you want to have it as low as possible until you start getting any stick drift. But with most new controllers, you won't even need to have this above two. In terms of acceleration speed multiplier, I have this set to none. Now, the reason why is because if you have this on, depending on what times you have it on, it will basically ramp up your sensitivity if you move your joystick all the way to the edge. But I found that when it comes to, you know, turning on enemies, 
days, um, you know, turning really fast. I like to turn and have a consistent turning level. I don't want it to be ramped up at any point during my gameplay. I think by default, it's on one time, but I put mine on zero. And with that, you can also use a higher horizontal sensitivity. Whereas if you have this on like times one, you'll probably have to lower the horizontal sensitivity because it gets really fast. Obviously, controller vibration is off because we don't want any unusual vibrations going off during the gameplay. And that is it in terms of the settings. I mean, there is a lot to cover in gameplay. The main thing I wanted to cover was my controller settings and what has enabled me to get really good aim in X Define because I feel like the default settings they give you are quite inconsistent and you do really need to fine tune them. So give this a try, guys. Let me know what you think. And and as always, if you guys want to see more X-Defiant content, be sure to like this video. Give me a sub. Let me know how you get on with these settings down below. As always, I'll catch you guys out in another video. Take care.